technology is called Biofield Viewer. It's been developed over the last 30 years. It's an imaging technique, non-invasive imaging technique, which looks at the patterns of the emanations of the body's biophotons and bioplasma. Um, modern medicine is very materialistic minded, and yet if we look at basic science, um, there is four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. And this technology is imaging the bioplasmic emissions from the body in a very simple and efficient way. So that's what it's doing. And of course, what it means is that we can look at an individual in a, a completely new way. Um, um, and uh, I think the best thing to do is to, to just show you. Can you see yourself over there? Yeah, yeah. That's as good as it gets. Oh, well. Is that to do with the camera or me? It's you. Oh, right. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good sign. It's you. Um, I'm going to ask you to turn to the right. And again, do you get sinus issues, by the way? I've got a bit of a cold at the minute. Right, turn again. You're a lot better than you think you are by the sounds of it. Turn again. Excellent. And face to me again. So really the only thing I can report from this image, do you really trust, you? do you really trust, you're someone who's really intuitive. So that's really a wonderful thing to see because it's really prominent in your picture. Okay, so I'm just going to um, take one more snap and then I'm going to ask you to come sit down here with me. I went to a dentist who I think was in financial trouble when I was younger and he changed all my teeth, all my fillings and I don't think he needed to, I think he did it for the money. Of course. Uh, so now those fillings, I think I must have been mid-twenties when that happened. I've heard so many stories like So that. I think now they're starting to be renewed now. So have you had any, any, do you think there's any impact on you personally by this particular thing? Have you had any symptoms to do with this kind of thing? Um, so how did you aware. know to change them? I'd read articles about it right. um, and I did go to a chiropractor probably about 15 years ago and right. she did kinesiology on me right. and showed me how fillings affect right. and your strength. And is, is it interesting that it's the only thing I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's still an issue because you've still got a few, isn't it? Yeah. So I, what I would do is I would slightly accelerate the process right, of okay. changing. Yeah. Maybe try and... Is it getting... dangerous to do it though? Somebody, I heard that it's um, quite dangerous when you're having them taken out. Um, it's, it, 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 it can be and that's why it's good to have dentists who understand the process. But it, yeah. it's, it's, as it's, it's ironically dangerous for the dentist yes yeah uh, you know yeah, and if he's yeah. if he's taking out um the filling and not wearing a mask for example yeah. he's going to get the vapors from that yeah. filling inhaled but um yeah modern smart dentistry is aware of these things um it's an interesting process i've never done anything like that before um but i would recommend people to go along to it because it puts your mind at rest and and some things come out that you're, you're not aware of yourself so um yeah, I'd highly recommend mm -hmm. giving it a whirl.